I think, uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I don't uh, blame you. I think uh, you heard me yesterday saying I don't like giving speeches. <laughs> Today, it's not going to be a speech. It's just uh, some fun discussion. Yeah, one, uh, I have to thank you. Thank UNDP and you personally. I have to thank uh, other partners, European Union, and a number of others uh, who are present here. Uh, first, you talked about UNDP being 60 years old and talked about that being uh, the age at which uh, people or institutions like these retire. Well, I have a personal story to do with that. One, you know, that first of all, I, it means I'm uh, closing in on uh, being 10 years uh, older than you, than UNDP. <laughs> Uh, but the story goes, when I was 40, I was actually thinking of maybe doing something and then retiring. Then I became 50. I found there was more to do than retiring. Went to 60, the same story. Now I'm about to be 70 in a few years, so I think there is still some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we can keep changing uh, uh, ideas and places and where we operate from. Um, so, but if I retire, still I have something to do. At least I'm going to be a cheerleader for those upcoming uh, young people who are doing different things. <laughs> and uh, giving them a bit of advice here and there and uh, reminding them to, you know, be a little careful about this, about that, and about that. You know, when you are still very young, you feel like you can do anything. Uh, you can climb a mountain and they tell you jump and, you know, you can fly without a parachute. And <laughs> you think you can do that. We went through that. It was the time we felt we could. Uh, so, but as you grow, you start making sense of uh, all these things and want to be a little more careful and then looking at what you are doing and where you are headed and making a sense of all of that. So that's um, a story that therefore builds around uh, the Timpunktu uh, endeavors that uh, thanks to UNDP and other partners have made it uh, real, as you rightly said. It's no longer a dream, uh, an idea. Or it's there. It's working. And we have to put in more energy and resources and ideas and, you know, scale it up to reach uh, wherever we intend that to reach to uh, benefit from the meaning of all that uh, uh, it carries with it. So I just wanted to thank you and encourage the young people here in the room and uh, uh, Africans, uh, that's where it is best and needed badly, uh, meaning the young people uh, whom we have in uh, bigger numbers than uh, any other continent in this world. I think we can really 
reverse the kind of trend. We can't be an African continent, we can't be Africans, we proud people, values, culture, you know, the diversity in our continent is uh, in itself a huge uh, resource. And uh, we are as capable, uh, if not even more, uh, as anyone else anywhere. So why not use this, which you always refer to as a potential. Potential, you can't keep talking about potential for decades and centuries. You remember when we were entering the, this century, they say this is Africa's century. <laughs> but which one was not ours? Oh, and, and, and why not? <laughs> I think it has always been, it just passes us by, and so this time, this one is not uh, going to pass us by. Isn't it? <laughs> so, and it is uh, in this room, it's in other rooms where the young talent of Africa is well represented. Uh, but let's make it a reality indeed, like we have made uh, Timbuktu a reality, and uh, many other things will follow. So I just uh, took a break to come and say to you, we are with you, we want to work with you, we appreciate you, and uh, there is a lot in us that we can unlock and uh, uh, go and be where we want to be. So, Asantin-san.